Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Melanie, your She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with a video kind of showing how I celebrated International Scrapbooking Day. Um, I wasn't really going to do anything and just felt really bad about it. But my local, I guess, independent scrapbooking store was having a sale, 30% off anything 12 by 12, stickers, everything. And you know, my husband actually was the one that pushed me to say, just go, go do it. Um, and one of my big hesitations is because I am going to the Great Lakes Mega Meet this weekend. So it was like, why do I really need to go shopping now? But again, next weekend. Um, but I really just wanted to support my local store. Um, because if they were to close, I don't know where I would get any of my supplies. So we will dig in. I did get quite a few new products, which of course I bought them at the local store, but I will link them to a cherry on top or scrapbook.com for you guys if you are interested in them. Um, so first I did get some Disney things. This is a new to me collection. It's Say Cheese at the Park. This actually was on clearance. So that's why I snagged this first. It's just different colors than what I already own. And I think that's kind of, I've hit a lull in scrapbooking Disney and I really haven't done much at all, but I think it's just because everything I have is, you know, the black, yellow, red. There's not much more color in it. So I did get the chipboard, which I think some of this is probably still a bit available. Um, and then I did get the bits and pieces. So again, just new colors. Um, and I feel like I do kind of have a new, I don't know, more inspiration now um, having this. And then this was actually 30% off too, because again, it's 12 by 12, the sticker sheet. Uh, if they had the collection pad or yeah, the collection, I probably would have bought it, um, but really like this one. And again, the color scheme. And then I just got a handful of papers from that collection. Love the plaid. And my son actually came with me, my youngest. And so it was fun. I gave him a job. I said, take this paper and go to the cut, the die cuts. Or the, I think they're die cuts. I don't know. I can never really remember what these are called. I was talking with my cousin. Um, but I told him, take the piece of paper and see what Toy Story you can come up with that matches this paper. Um, and so he came back with Woody and the Toy Story title. Um, and I believe that I got the Bluey and Bingo ones from the same place. So Petticoat Parlor is who actually makes them. I think I got them maybe last year at the Expo. Um, and they are going to be at the Great Lakes Mega Meet as well. So I don't know if they have an online store, but it's Petticoat Parlor is who it is. So I did get those to match for Woody and Jess, or Toy Story. Uh, just a really great polka dot, red polka dot. But then the back side was this gray kind of ledger paper, park itinerary, itinerary. So I thought that was really cool. And then you can never go wrong with tags. So just the tag sheet for the Say Cheese at the Park. And then a couple other die cuts that I got. I love Warm Hugs um, for When We Met Olaf. I thought that would be a really cute title. And then this most recent trip I went on in April, we met Tigger and Winnie the Pooh. And I knew that this collection had just come out. And so I did snatch up some of them. Um, but I got Tigger to go along with that layout. And I thought he was just adorable. Again, the same petticoat parlor. And then, so this is the Winnie the Pooh collection from Echo Park. Um, and what I love is that the back sides of them are plain non-specific if that makes sense so like this has nothing to do with Winnie the Pooh but then this side does so if you're not you know gonna use it for Winnie the Pooh there's def definitely different options and then let's see there's three of them I put three different sheets that have the cut apart and the reason was I was reading them and almost tearing up um, <laughs> in the store I know that's really silly but there's so many different phrases here sayings that really just are great and in the store I just could not decide you know what I wanted and again the backs are just beautiful look at that so I did end up with all three of those 
And then again, the nice thing with going to the store, I was able to make sure that Tigger kind of matched, you know, with the collection and sure enough he did. So I did end up getting this paper as well for that orange side. All right, this one was in my cart in pre-order and I just never pulled the trigger because I was really trying to be good and not order anything. This is the Summer Vibes from Echo Park. And I decided when I was at the store that I would get the papers at the store the other day because they were on sale. And then I'll look for the embellishments at the um, Great Lakes Mega Meet. So that's kind of my plan. So I don't have any embellishments yet, but I will probably have a haul video from the Great Lakes Mega Meet uh, next week. So again, Summer Vibes. Love the masculine feel of this. Oh, that's, I forget they do like a, oh no, they don't have them together, but so yeah, I love the masculine vibe for this collection. So here's the cut aparts and then the palm trees, lots of different icons and then the nice navy. This, I thought these pool floats are adorable. The shark, the turtle, the popsicle, pineapple. I just thought it was so cute. And then just the beautiful green color. I like that one. I think these are the two by two cut aparts. Ooh, S-U-M-M-E-R. That would be a cool title. Oh, look at that one. I like this paper a lot. Kind of gives you, I don't know, it's bugging my eyes, but I really like that paper. And then all of like the palm fronds and a nice yellow sunshine. Some sayings that you could fussy cut. And then that burnt orange color. Some more cut aparts, different sizes, which is nice. I never usually use the four by six, so I like when they have smaller ones. Perfect. Polka dot. The clothesline. And then a fun red floral paper. Your beach setup. And a green stripe. Oh, there's not, not duplicates. Huh? I'm going to have to add that to my list to buy next week. <laughs> I like having two of each because I like to do two page layouts. I'm going to have to add that to my list. Uh, four by four cut aparts. And then a stripe. Surfboards. And the polka dot. And then the sunglasses and the waves. And then the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So again, I love that shark. I think is adorable. Um, all the flip flops, the boys trunks, just really like the colors of that collection. And then this one, I was not really aware of it until I saw it the other day. Um, like I said, I've been really trying to be good and not buy new stuff, knowing I was going to the Great Lakes Mega Meet, but summer snapshots from simple stories and they have some beautiful papers like this is so cute but then i love that wave paper a great floral look at all those bright fun colors and then that kind of coral almost ledger paper lemons for your lemonade and a beautiful stripe orange and light pink flowers with a great green. I like that bright, vibrant green for the bright, vibrant grass. <laughs> uh, I like this one. It's really fun. Lots of options for that. And then the polka dot of all of the colors. Beach balls and the navy polka dot. Ice cream cones, which I've got layouts planned already for the ice cream cones. And a nice checkered tags. Ooh, I've got a watermelon uh, layout plan too. So that is going to be perfect for that. And the cut aparts. I thought this one was beautiful. That is so cool. I love like the faux stitching on that and the different colors. And then more cut aparts. Oh, and this one I don't. Man, apparently I don't buy the collections very often because this one doesn't have doubles either. I need to start paying attention. So these are going to be on my list next week. <laughs> oh, the seagulls. More cut aparts. 
in a very, very thin stripe. And then the four by six cut aparts and the watermelon. So this is what I plan on scrapbooking those watermelon photos with. And look at this sticker sheet. It is gorgeous. I love these colors. Um, I can't wait to get the foam stickers. The titles of the foam stickers were perfect. So again, like I said, I will uh, link these collections down below for you if you're interested. Um, I know that like a cherry on top has them. But before I let you go, I was like, I think I have a collection similar in colors to the summer snapshot. So I went into my stash and just want to give you guys more options, you know, if, shop your stash yes i have barely gotten into these um but this hello summer i thought work would work it's a little bit brighter but there is that um this i think color this aqua will match really nicely from that and those florals so I'm, i might be able to pick and choose some pieces from that but then also and again these are older this one is from 2018 so that's simple stories hello summer and then this one is from, I think it was 2017, Summer Days. So again, if you shop your stash, you could find things that match the collection. Um, so I have this. I have the whole collection kit still. My goodness. I need to uh, use my stash a little bit more. But look at how similar in colors. So this is going to be great. I just like expanded my options times two because these are so similar in colors so lots of extra patterns so maybe i won't buy more of this paper and just try to use and bring in some of that summer days but i hope you guys enjoyed this haul video and stay tuned next week for my great lakes mega meat haul video i'm sure there will be lots of goodies from there i can't wait to go and maybe some of you guys are going if you're going let me know um yeah, I can't wait. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye guys.